Boom, here we are. Pretty much where we left over last night. Welcome, everybody, to the tubes of you. Hey, Shell, how are you doing? Marion, we'll be on for a couple hours this afternoon, just getting some stuff done. Let me open up the garage door for my Walmart delivery. Hello. I'm going to say hi. I'm, I'm going to head to the doctor and I've got to leave you a little bit. But I'm going to say hi anyway. Let you know where I'd be. <laughs> Hope it goes well. Thank you. All right. Know. Crash man's going through the neighborhood. Let's see. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, you have fun. I hope it all goes well. I probably will not be on. I got to work tonight, so probably won't be on tonight. More afternoons during the week. Yes, ma'am. And I'll probably be early tomorrow afternoon, but I did have a lot to do this morning. Yeah. See ya. Bye bye. Hello. You're still right there, buddy. Oh, is that that one? Oh, I guess I was expecting more. Must be the next delivery. No, it's coming. Thank you, buddy. Only you only want to talk. Okay, yeah, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's see. Carrie just got a delivery, so I got to take her little thing in. Oh, how cute. Apparently, you couldn't add it to my order, huh? Nope. Different people accept them. Order that I made. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're both on Amazon. Oh, is this a different one? No, this was linked from Amazon. They just ship it from different places. Oh, gotcha. Yes, sir. Tiffany Blue Color. Oh, cool. More metallic-y looking blue. So is the Tiffany blue a paste? Yes. It, it, yeah. Paste. It says paste. stir well before mixing or before using. Huh. So you on the video it said you stir the the can. And you add a little paste to the resin, and then you stir it in resin. Yeah, and you take it because it's pretty concentrated stuff, apparently. Yeah, Let's see what this good. looks like. Oop, it's got sealed. Beautiful, and you can make it lighter if you add a little bit of light. Squirting right out on my fingers. It's pretty. Oh, it's stuck to the top. Dang. Looks concentrated. Woo, we baby. Sarah Barton. Hello, Sarah Barton. Hello, Marion. What's up, Marion? Awesome. Yeah, over on Kimba Crafts. That was fun. We watched it too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she had gotten a pen back in July that you probably saw the video. And that posted the video to the Facebook group. But he brought a pen. I didn't realize it was it. He said, Oh, this is my pen from Leather Leather Works. And I had no idea. And I went back and I remember the pen. And so I knew about the time that it was purchased. And in my PayPal, and I saw it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, that would be her. But I had no idea it was you, 
and this is only like a month or so ago and she goes well i don't like to tell people and so i don't want to be treated special i want you to treat me like you treat a customer so i get the full experience so i'm like okay i said hey we kind of changed a few things up i'd like you to do a comparison and um she goes okay and can i buy one too i'm like yeah and so yeah she had a canvas in mind for both of them. She showed me the canvases, um, and they will look beautiful with them. So, See, that's another thing that, you know, like, lately we've been talking about, you know, because I'm new to the diamond uh, painting community. I started a diamond painting thing from Italy, like, uh, August of last year. But, um, you know, what I'm seeing is, like, the how the people are in the diamond painting community. But that's just like another thing, going like, I don't want to be treated any differently. Like, I don't want to like, you know, think that they're thinking I want free stuff. Like, that, that is so cool. I thought that's like so cool because, you know, like in other sectors, you know, people is like, give, 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 right? They're asking for a free, free handout. And yeah. Yeah. we will see that in, in, like, I haven't seen that in the diamond painting community as of yet, but I'm not a business owner either, but. Okay, so let's make it official. I hereby am asking for any free handouts that anybody wants to give me. <laughs> My motto is, if it's free, it's for me. Give me three. Yeah, and just, and I'm sure you're in Canada, and anyone else international there's a purple do, you can buy a pen from us if we put up a pen fairly new you there's a waiting period for outside market i don't know why so shopify has to verify anything that's shipping international doesn't break any rules and stuff like that so they the minute we list any new item it goes through especially if we want to be in international markets it goes through a review process Part of that process is automated and happens within three days. And sometimes things get held a little bit longer, but it's never longer than two weeks. But normally what happens is I wait about three days. And if it doesn't pop, I send them a message and go, hey. And then two days later, it's approved. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I didn't know either. Look at that. That's This is Angel Blue. Well, it has nothing to do with where the company is. And everything to do with where you're shipping from. Yeah. So this is Campaniura. Pretty cool purple. Yeah. And the other one I showed was Angel Blue. Carrie just ordered these to fortify the offerings in the channel here. Yeah, Sarah says it's a pretty purple. Yeah. Hi, Kenny. Anybody need a sticker? I already got one on my fridge. Oh, no, I don't have an eye candy sticker on my fridge. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, I do. This one, oh, yeah, same one. Well, it and I'll put it in somebody's box. Yeah, because they'll know exactly what eye candy pigments is. Well, you're blowing all the surprises now. You just said it. <laughs> it's it's a sticker. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's the spirit. That is the that is correct. Eye candy. I love it. I love it. Everybody, what's uh, no, but you have it in there on your pile. My pile. That helps. Which one? I don't know. You did it. Yet. You put it on yesterday for me, but I don't know what you did. But the, oh, there it is. But um, agenda for this afternoon. Well, I don't actually have an agenda. Got a couple. I've been. I got up at. Uh, we went to bed about two in the morning. After, oh after we got off, we're just farting around. We don't have to get up early. So I woke up at 8, so I got a good 6 down, which is perfect. And she got up before me, which was really weird. 
Usually she's sleeping until 11 or something. Hello, Denise. But the well, couple of things I'd like to do. One, we've got to get more customer orders done, of course. And on top of that, I've got Lenore's blank sitting here. So I got to even those out. Let me blow this cup out here. And uh, there we go. All blown out. Now it's all cleaned up and ready to use. Okay. Oh, absolutely. They're all over the country. They have the, the coolest show is this. There was a pen show in California, and I forget. Who puts it on or who sponsors it or whatever. But they have fountain pens, holders, ink pens of not only the manufacturers, but the people manufacturing the pens, not the pen parts, but the actual pens. And there was one fountain pen that was $1,200. Yeah, that's no, it the blank was done by a guy. I forget his name now. I have to go look him up again. But he's like this mega blank maker, and his blanks alone cost about five hundred dollars. Um, some type of artist, yeah, some type of guy that's just got it down, and people want what he's got. Probably no more special than anything else. But he was the one that we watched when I got all excited and told Carrie, I need you to pick some colors. I got to mix something real fast before I lose the stuff in my brain. And uh, we did, and it came out phenomenal. And it's called Dragon Spirit. Dragon Spirit, which actually Kimba showed on that channel. And there's a, and, and we're starting to achieve more and more of that as we learn how to mix it and how these things interact with each other. And again, a lot of these guys I talk to, all the resume, yeah, it'll take you about five years to really get good. I'm like, I can't wait that long. Crap. <laughs> so let's get rolling, baby. Okay, so the next step. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I have to bring you my tape, Teflon tape, because you can wrap this envelope. I guess the fake kind of shape. What do you got? Carrie's actually walking right now. I've graduated to little st baby steps. Okay, let's take this one here. Let me make sure the other one works. Yep. Yeah. By the way, I find that Teflon tape is much better than washi tape. For wrap, if your like metal tips don't fit in your hole, because everyone draws differently, and a little more than others, you might have to wrap tape on tape in the plumbing section at Walmart. Which which end do you want on? Let's see it. This end. Is that the pointy? I don't know. Yeah, it's pointy. And then this one on the other end. There you go. Let me check. My heel hurts. Well, it's because you're walking on it finally. Yeah, realize that your heel and other parts of your foot will go <laughs> They will certainly do that. Let me get this up. Ooh, it'll fall. I'm not even good at balancing it. Does this go on the other end? Yeah. yeah. There you go. One more. So we'll be live in a few minutes. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Let's try one of these. So what, I take it your, your next step is to even up the pens and white. Yeah, I gotta square up the the ends with the brass tubes. I got this one so I can see how to do this if I wanted to do that or not. A little rough on the ends, but I should make a video on how to use Teflon tape. Go on here. Which one is that one? Is that a yeah? There you go. Well, no, no. Oh, there's more. What's that, Lee? Several people have made how to use wacky tape, so why not? Why not make one on how to use Teflon tape? You can put it in our instructional. Here, you see if you can get that off. You're probably faster. Than it. Mr. Likely is calling you. 
Mr. Likely. I guess it's usually two different. I like that guy. He never sells me anything. He just wants to take. I love the, the calls that come in. I've been hired to verify your address. Please give us a call back. Mention this account number. I'm like, whatever. And sometimes I have to answer it because they're doctor appointments and confirming. And they That's different. Well, I know. but It's an actual doctor calling. No, it says 800-1888. You don't know who that is. But it's not Mr. Likely. Well, it says Sam Likely on it. So. Oh. Like when the hospital calls for you, they want a test or an x-ray. And they call you to come in and get it. Okay, what's this one going? Oh, this one here? Yeah. You know is working and working. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Back to the live. Did I do what? Did you finish showing the new colors? The new colors have been shown. There you go. like to see how we're going to use beige. That sounds like a highlight. So, okay, this thing here is the thing that squares up the blank. It's got this piece right here that will go down the middle of the blank, and I've got about 10 or 12 of these of different sizes for all the different pens. But essentially, you hold the blank, and you just do this. Until you get down to the blank. I mean, to the brass tube. Maybe to the, the G1 today. So excited to go home and look at it. Nice. Almost there. Yes, yeah, see this thing here? Yeah. This is not a drill. This is a guide. Okay. So this thing here is actually shaving off the end of the tube. See that? Oh, yeah. So we're getting right down to that brass tube. And I would say we are a hair of a millimeter away. That'll be it. So now I've got that end even with the brass tube. Now we got to do it on the other end. And we're, we're there. Well, you got to look. So you can see how deep it is. Stick it in there and shave a little off and look at it. Shave a little off, look at it. We're just about there on this one. Almost there. A hair away, literally. That'll do it. Yep. That's what that one's even up there. And we'll come down and do this one. Halfway there. Almost. We are there. So now we got little shiny brass on each end. We just touch the edge of that thing and we're good to go. Now we take these things here. Let me get the mandrel here. This is the pen mandrel. And we'll take this knurled knob off this end. Let me... Nope, didn't drop it on the floor. Oh, I know. But it was close. Saved by the bell. Okay. Now, we'll take these things off here. And we will use these things called bushings. I went and bought these today. They're $5 for a set. And of course, you have to buy lots of sets when you're doing pens because there are lots of different types of pens. Okay, that one goes in there. And you only do one of these at a time. So those fit in there. And you put this on the mandrel. All of these bushings are always drilled out to the size of the mandrel. 
you put these remaining spacers on here. And I should have one more spacer over here. And there it is. The whole idea is to cover up some threads. So when you tighten this up, you can tighten it right down on there and it's super tight. Now this will spin when we put it in there. This again is a Morris taper two that will go on the lathe and I'll show you how that works. So let's go over to the lathe. Let's see, camera number that one. There we go. So again, we're gonna modify the lathe, move some things around. Take out the dead center. Take out the live center. Let me back up just a hair so we can see more stuff there. That should be helpful there. All right. And then we will take this one here and stick it into here. Now that will turn that. And then we will grab this piece right here. This is called a mandrel saver. It is a live center. It's going to go on here and hold that in place. So that's going to slip into there. And we're going to bring it forward, clamp it down, squeeze it so it turns, set up our banjo here. And we're going to do the same thing just like we were turning a pen. So... Let's turn the blower on. I got to put my headphones on, so it'll be just a second. Okay. Turn it on. Hello, Cindy and Marion and Melanie and me. sure my audio and video stays in step right to me. Somebody say something in Discord so I can hear you. Ah, uh, perfect. Sweet tones of Marion. Okay. Uh, that was Cindy? The sweet tones of Cindy. Oh, I never stop. Are you kidding? It is my porn. I haven't seen, I don't know that one by name, but that doesn't mean I haven't seen them. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nick Zametti does that a lot, too. Nick Zametti's always turning peanuts and raffle tickets and crayons and guitar picks and anything he can cast in resin, he does it. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. So I may have seen that video. I just didn't recognize the name of the channel. There's a lady out there. What is her name? She's about 35 years old, and she is like the master turner. Every, I mean, her bowls are expensive. Everybody looks to her. They want to meet her when she comes to the shows. I mean, I forget her name, but she's uh, quite incredible. Very talented. Now, the whole idea on this is to take as much as I can away using this here. And then we'll get down to the point where we're going to use the scraper. Now, you can watch the pin alive. And the whole idea is to bring it down just 
literally a cat hair crowd of the bushings. Because the bushings are the size of the pen. So, Lee, you got uh, Lenore watching? I can't hear it, Lee. He's still there. Oh, good. Lenore's watching? Good. So, the whole idea is to get just a little proud of this bushing right here. And then you could do whatever you want in the pen, but I think about it sitting comfortably in somebody's hand. So it's it's not going to get all these bumps and jiggles and scoops and mentos and all that kind of stuff. Although you could do that. I like to give it just a little body, but not too bulbous as to be obnoxious. Now, so what we're aiming for here, let me see if I can find the pen that we are aiming for. Let's see. It is called the Stratus pen. DuraClick Anvil Precision DuraClick Big Cigar, the Gatsby. Big Ben Fit Finish Funline Kits, popular sellers. Comfort, Devon Click, a whole bunch of military type themed pens. Probably faster if I looked up on their website. Nautical, fly fishing, love twist, baseball, football, cat twist, dog click pen. Look at this. If you got dogs or cats, you can get pens with little kitty feet, little kitty designs, and a little cat up on top as your that little thing that holds the pen in your pocket. Same thing with dogs. You can have a dog bone. Very cool stuff. Very fun stuff. Yep. Yeah, you can you can the sky is the limit with these things. See where is let me look it up on my phone here. This will tell us sort of what we're going for here. Ah ah ah. Okay, let's go. So this is what we're going for here. This is sort of a black and white of what the pen is going to look like. So now we're trying to shape this to be not so fat. Nice and slim, as you can see there. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. That way. So, where do I have the appearance? So, we just slowly inch it down to where you need to be. Smooth and smooth. Never in a hurry with this one. Yeah, this is the one you don't leave laying around. Yep. 
Yep. Rivalry. <laughs> She's marking her trail, stalking her territory. Yeah, you just don't leave it laying around, that's all. You put it on a chain and put it around your neck. Yep. Yeah, don't take it to work. Yep, don't take it to work. You need a chain, sister. That's yep. The only one going to steal it will be Lee, and she'll smack his fingers. Yeah, where do you see this? Now this is my pen sanding kit. You blow all the stuff up. You know? So this goes from 1500 grit, which they call coarse, which is the highest I used to use on a pen, all the way to 12,000 grit. So I will use one of these on each one. And this thing will be baby but smooth when we're done. Ooh, smooth already. We go up to eighteen hundred. This is why pens cost more because people use them for different things and their feel in their hand has to be just perfect. So they just take more labor, more finesse.
And these little pads are reusable, of course. Use them for hundreds of pens, hopefully. These are about $80 a set. So <laughs> ways ago, bottom late last or, or middle of last year, when we started doing cocoa pens. Yeah, they are. Yep. And as long as you keep them good and lubricated, they don't overheat. We're all the way up to four thousand. It goes to 12,000. And this is really more of a polish than a sanding. Blower on the Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, that was the me. Dropped a, dropped a, sh a sander here. I'll explain that in just a second. Okay, now we're going up to six thousand. I got. I just dropped them, so I got to put them back in their holding chain. Okay, had to rearrange them. If I have what? Not yet because I don't have any, you know, finished. I'm not producing them right now because of the demand of diamond painting pens. But these are absolutely a blast to make. Watch when I put them together. They're even more fun. It's like a puzzle. Anyway, so the finish that uh, Kimba was talking about is... We did everything the same, except we now use that buffer. Oh, hey, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, so we do everything the same, except the buffer is the addition. And the buffer does a couple things. One is it, re it I don't say removes, but it smooths out any... Uh, rings that are around the the pen or around the yeah around the diamond painting pen that you get from sanding. Okay, here this is twelve thousand grit, which is like you can hardly even feel feel like a cat's tongue, but twelve thousand grit on this one. So with the buffer, we 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 polish now with that with that polish that I use right at the end of all the sanding. And then I um, put it on the buffer, and the buffer is even finer and finer. But the cool thing about the buffer is I can hold it at a 45-degree angle and essentially polish away the rings that go around from all the sanding and polishing and stuff. So that is the difference. It's, if you noticed, it was just a little bit shinier, but not much, because I didn't want to take away the satin finish. All right, there is one of her pens. Nice. Yeah, me too. This is good, good, good purples. Okay, so now we'll come back over to the bench. Oh, I got to add Lee there. Let's go back to the bench. Oh, wrong bench. Okay. 
So now we'll take this one off. So that's one barrel there that we're going to put on the pen when we're done. And I just check it out for any defects. And it looks, uh, besides the dust on my fingers, it looks pretty perfect. Now we'll take this one, put it on that thing right there. Put this bushing in there on that side. Put all the spacers on there. Hello, Catherine. I'm halfway through your video. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry for my accent too, but it's all I got. <laughs> it is what it is, Catherine. Well, I speak English for a living and for since I was born. That's all I've heard. I wish I could speak other languages better. I think you did fabulous. No apologies. And you well, yeah, I always like I love the descriptions and, and your your videos will get better and better. Just keep doing them. That's what Mr. B says. Yeah, you'll get better. That's what Mr. B says. Make 100 videos and they'll suck. And then make another 100 videos and they'll suck. He's still trying to make his be videos better, if you can imagine. He's got like billions of views. Yeah. Clear the air. Now, okay. Excellent. Hope everybody watches it. Catherine's on her way to becoming a YouTube influencer. <laughs> I mean, if you influence one person, you're an influencer. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Maybe you should do some in German. Might be a market for that. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. They need it.
I've seen them. Go for it. Hey, Tim, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm uh, over here working on pens. Uh -huh. I have to invite everybody over. I'm hiding. Time to tap it. That's it. No. Like Lee often says, you already have a YouTube channel. You just haven't broadcast yet. It is true. But Lenore says that Lenore well, no, says, sure, go ahead, hide it on when you're working on my pen. That's it. That is it. <laughs> well, you're in there hiding in the kitchen when I'm trying to hear you singing. So fair game, sister. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm telling you. Just saying. I, I I let her hear that and she goes, that's not nice. <laughs> well, I keep trying to tell her you guys are not nice. Des desiring the me. voice of angels is wonderful. Yeah, I think I'll be on, probably off before Kara goes on. There you go.
Yep. Janet. Janet says, hi, everyone. I just received my Shea by the Sea pen. Wow. Ooh. Way more gorgeous in person. Thank you, Tim and Carrie. You're welcome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you go, girl. We're not going away, so, you know, we'll be here. In fact, I may be here too much. <laughs> Now, I got to make a label, but I got to go. My label maker is around here somewhere. But before I go too far, I now have to mark these. I put them on my magnetic board, give them their own area, and I've got to mark those Diva and Stratus. Let's see. Where's my little? Here we go. Diva slant. Oops. <laughs> Why Diva and Stratus? So it is, if I bought a Diva pen, I would know that it would fit. Ah. Because they're the same size. Okay, we'll put this away over here. Because I will get lost quickly if I don't know what that is. When I went to the store, they didn't have one for... Oh, yeah, of course, because I'm an idiot. So I put these bushings there, and I just made a label for it with my label maker. And I'm going to put that, get the dust off there, put the label maker right there. And now I know when I use those two bushings, they are the Diva and Stratus bushings. And these are all the different types of pen kits that I have bought previously and need them. This one actually goes in between these two. It's a cigar pen, and it's got two different bushings built into one because it's a two-part pen. Okay. Now, we will put all these spacers back on here. We're done using this now. Put that in the holder. Now we will get, where's it at? Here it is. Blow all the dust off it. This is called the pen press. And now I bring over the two pen kits. This is the pen. This is the pencil. So we'll build the pen first. So Lenore, when you're using your pen or pencil, which one do you want to call your pen or pencil? That way you'll know it by sight. This has more squigglies. This has a squiggly, but less.
I know. It's a big one. Which one do you want as the pencil at the bottom or the top? Okay, she wants the one with the less squiggling as a pencil. Okay, so that's going to be, we're putting the pen together right now, so we'll do this. We'll now put that one over there with the pencil. So we're going to use that one. And now we're, it actually has instructions. So we do this stuff, and then we take, let's see, what does it say here? For the pen, is that what we're building? Yeah, we're building the pen first. Turning the blank assembly, lay out parts according to diagram A. So you just literally watch the diagram. You put your tube, and then you get all your other goodies here. So here's the tip. That's right there. Here's the tip coupler. That's right there. I'll take them out of the bags in a second. Then we have the tube in the barrel with the spring. So we will take this little plastic cap off. Put our spring on. That'll sit right there. And then we got the click assembly, which is this right here. And then we have the plunger, which is that right there. So now we're going to take all these, put them together. And it says to, uh, let's see, uh, press the click assembly recessed extension into either end of the barrel. So I think the... I think we'll go this way so we'll take this out of the little bag and this is the end here we're going to push this onto here you can't push it with your hands that's what this is for so we bring this over first thing we do is we extract this here and we take this this way here We line them up by sight, nice and easy. And then we just simply press them together. Now we gotta click this down here. Boom, that is now pressed into that. So that is the beginning of the top of our pen. Oh, you can get it out again, but it's quite the process and you'll ruin the, the blank. But you could buy more brass tubes and you know that kind of stuff. Okay, then we press the tip coupler, recess extension, into the first opposite end of the barrel. Into the, let's see, press the tip coupler, which is this thing here. In, oh, this is the coupler here. Okay, so we got to do the same thing again. When you do a bunch of these, you get real good at it. But this is going to go in here now. And you can push it in a little bit, but you can't push it in very far. So again, you pull this back here. And you load that up like that, get it all nice and centered, put a couple of these down to reduce the distance you have to push it, and boom, now that is now pressed into there. So there's part of the pen there coming out. And then you press the spring over the refill and drop it into here. So this goes into here. And then this goes over the top of here and screws in. That's almost done. Then we screw the plunger over the threads, which is here. And there is her pen on, writes like that, black ink. There it is. How do you like that, Lenore? Okay, Parker, let's, I think it's Parker. Let's see. It's beautiful. Don't know if you heard that. She said, it's beautiful. Oh. Use Parker style refill. So Parker's not crap. That's good stuff. Yeah, Parker's good. Okay, do the same thing over here. Again, super important. We're doing the pencil now. So we lay it out just like that right there. So we've got the end here, the coupler. That's going to be the end there. There's the pencil insert. 
there's the plunger and then there is the thing you put on your your clip for the thing there okay so upper end goes like that boom now we follow the directions we lay out the parts we press the coupler recessed end into either end so this is the coupler and we're going to take it and we're going to press it into this end here Well, <laughs> you could always screw it up, but you definitely reduce the chance, don't you, Catherine? <laughs> okay, so then we press the recessed side of the upper end through the clip hole. So this is this here. This is the upper end. And then this is the clip. By the way, the reason they don't make the clip part of this one is there are some people who don't want to put the clip on. So we're going to put that right on there. And then we're going to press this assembly into the opposite end of the barrel, which I suspected, but I always read the instructions anyway. That's correct. And once you get good at it, all the pen kits are similar, so you do it pretty quick. Let's see. Let's put out a couple of these. Boom. So that's done there. And then we're going to put this thing here into there. Oops. What do we do? Let's see. Now, screw the tip into the coupler. So here comes the tip. That goes into that coupler right there. And then we take this, put it down there. And screw it in. Yep. Then we put the plunger on. Yes, ma'am. And there's the ink. And there's the pencil. Now, this is a little bit fancier ink, so this comes out like a, like a big block on the end, and you get to sharpen that. See how that comes out? So this is the higher-end pencils where you get to sharpen them by doing this. Beautiful. All right, Lenore. There is your pen and pencil set. I think so. They're pretty cool looking. She's singing now. She's they're beautiful. She was singing. 
She was saying, singing, she loves them, she loves them, that's all that I can say. Nice. So to use the eraser, you unscrew this plunger. <laughs> Interesting. pretty cool no i'm just looking at it just trying to see how it works i'm curious so to expose the eraser you take the plunger off and i think it says to sharpen the lead extend the lead pull the plunger mechanism out insert into the sharpening tube and rotate insert lead into the sharpening tube so is this a sharpening tube let's go see so apparently this goes in here. Oh, it's a sharpener of some type. I got to figure out how to use that. That's what it says to insert it into there. Yeah, it says take that off, insert it into there. I don't get it. I don't know what a sharpening tube is. Let's see. Extend the lead. Pull the plunger mechanism out. Oh, I see. So is it that part? So let's put the plunger back in there. Okay. So then we, so the lead's extended. You pull the plunger mechanism out and you sharpen it in there. I don't know. I'm going to have to go research. I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I mean, it actually writes very nice just by just by writing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it writes just fine without sharpening it. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure how to do that on there. To refill the lead, just press the plunger, release the old lead, and start a new one. So it goes in, the lead goes in here. Hmm. Beautiful. Very cool. There it is. All done. Thank you, Lenore, for singing. Appreciate you a lot. And we'll get these out. Carrie will get them sent to you. Yeah, that and, that and the tray. Yep. Huh? Yes, You're getting yep. the tray, too. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and guess what's up next? Pens. Yeah, but what kind? Yes. Well, I just don't know. make sure you switch the camera. Yeah, I'm just drilling right now. Oh, okay. But I thank for the reminder. Certainly need one, don't I? A reminder. All right, now, so we got that out. So we'll put the dead center back on this end. We'll take out that little holder right there. Put that one in there. Wind it out so it can sit well. There we go.
Let me get some bushings put in. Gorgeous day in Oklahoma City today, about 75 degrees. What's that? You know, probably about 21, maybe 22, something like that. Is that right? I know that because of my German friends over in Germany and they're always... We're always comparing temperatures. So my math was dang close, huh? <laughs> 23, so it's 24 degrees then Celsius. I'm telling you. So what do we have on the lathe this afternoon? It is the 800 member celebration blank. Yeah, it always comes out that way. I don't know why. Woo, toasty down there. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's not too bad. What is that, about 55, 60 uh, Fahrenheit? That'd be pretty nice. Well, you multiply 1.8 and add 32. There you go. I don't know. She knows. Things are looking up. Carrie's out walking around the house now. Very exciting. Very exciting. Am I driving this Daisy Days? Which I which I don't mind, but the way that her business is going right now, I'm telling you, I need help. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do baseball bat ends. Oh, dang it. Got to lower this little bayonet here. Getting the wrong angle here. I agree. I'm dying to see this. Yes, ma'am. Telling you, picking colors is like picking your nose, just a whole bit better. I mean, you gotta admit, there are times where picking your nose is quite joyful. <laughs> People won't admit it out loud, but I'm telling you, there is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why it comes. Mine looks like blue too. I don't know why. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's mega purple, about as purple as you can imagine. It could be the, the crappy camera. It's only a $69 Logitech C920. Oops. Oh, now you're way beyond my technical capabilities, Captain. I'm just an old white guy that's trying to balance now and again. Oh, I'm not confused. I know what you're talking about. I just don't know how to adjust it. I'm teasing. I'm, I'm actually more technically astute than I give you credit for. I played with my first computer in 1979. It's been around on a bit. There you go. And that's when I graduated from high school. That's pretty good. Oh, I had one of those. I had a Commodore 64 first. That was an awesome computer. Yep, we had an Amiga 500 next. Yep. What was it? No, the first computer oh, I had was Master, a, yeah. My my first computer was a TRS-80 from Radio Shack. Yeah, I remember the Trash 80. Seventy-four. She's trying to fix you up, Catherine. That's right. Never know. Small miracles. That's where I was born. That's where my mom lives. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I think I was starting to discover girls about then. Nice. He lied. Finally gave it up. If not, it's too late to make that decision separate. Too much energy. Thank you. 
I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, but I don't, definitely don't feel what I thought it would look like. I've only got five, so I'm in second place. <laughs> or not. Yeah, I'm 13. I am 13 years old tomorrow. Whether I want to be or not. Just remember, just remember, on your birthday, you send your mother something. She did all the work. You you just came out kicking and crying. <laughs> Helen contention right away. Dang. Dang, how'd you do that? Jeez. Too funny. You guys just were using those dates up, huh? Recycling. <laughs> What's it? Cheaper on the budget. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <clears throat> 
So, Angie, did I answer your question about the two different finishes from months ago to now? Was that who asked, or was that? I forget. Yep. Oh, good. She wants some of Catherine's food. <laughs> She's communicating through the airwaves to Cat to Catherine's cats. And Catherine's <coughs> cat saying, you know, if you claw a little bit, you get more treats. Uh oh. How would she uh, know? Ah. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I was so listening to everything that was going on that I completely missed a bunch of stuff. Uh-oh, go ahead, uh, Lee. Jackie Williams wants to know if you received her email with her mailing address in it because she won the um, diamond painting kit. The that other would night. probably be that probably be Carrie, not me. Yeah. Okay. So well, I don't she, know. She wants to get to know Carrie that. on to answer. Jessica Rabbit said Spectrum ZX Amiga and Amstrad CPC 464. I'm not exactly sure what they were talking about there. I, that was the computers we had when we were growing up. Oh, that's right. We, when we were talking about, because I, I remember the Amstrad. The one. Yeah, I remember the uh, Amstrad. The yeah, because she says the classics. Good evening, all. Hope everyone is well. That still is from Jessica. Tammy says, hey, everyone. Tammy Glassnap. Joe hello, Atwood Tim. says hello everyone. And hello, Joe. Emma Handy says that's the new purple pen that you guys just made the other day. Oh, this is it. Yes, yeah. ma'am. We're getting ready to put the first level of polish on it. I don't know. I haven't stopped it yet, Catherine. It's coming up next, though. <laughs> coming up next. Excited, yeah, me too, me too. But this will be the design style turning the whole bit. Baseball bat ends in three restraints. Oh, Carrie's calling. What's got, babe? Okay, and um, uh, hey, Lee, who asked about if Carrie got that? Oh, Jackie Williams, did you get her email? She sent you her address, Jackie Williams. She won one of the uh, kits or something on the yeah, giveaway. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I haven't checked email yet, and I'm not doing kits till Wednesday. Okay, but I'm just saying, just look out for it. Yeah, just tell her that I'll be mailing it. Um, and and where's where's Kara's bag? Is that in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Just do it her size. But that's the I don't know what her size is, but we will do it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm back. That was it. Cool. So again, like I was saying before, Carrie jumped in the garage here, is that this is the turning style for all of the 800 member celebrations. Mm -hmm. It is baseball bed ends in your size, and uh, it's going to have three restraints, and that's it right here. This is three restraints. It's like a band that's sort of holding everything together. Looks pretty cool, nice and wavy. Are you ready? Timmy's got us. Timmy says, "Got to drive now." Got to drive now. Be careful, Tim. Here we go. Oh, oh wow, man! Look at that pink right in the center, dude. That's the pen that we all chose the color. You all chose the colors of. Look at this little green poking through. You know, I don't want to be a modest or anything, but I'm getting good at mixing these. <laughs> Man, alive. Oh, my. Okay, I'm going to buff it now. Then we'll do another little, little showing here. 
Oh, absolutely. It's gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. Man alive. Man alive. Okay, again, so, all right, we'll see you soon. I will. I, I have to. I got pens to do, and I'd rather have company. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. So again, now that I'm over the buffer to further explain the new finishing thing we're doing here, I get to hold this pen at a 45 degree angle against a very high, what do you call it, fine polish. So it actually smooths out, never removes them completely, but smooths out any lines that were left over from turning the pen and sanding it and finishing it. And then this is even the higher level polish which actually doesn't change anything, but it just polishes it up to a shininess. So we really wanted to keep it the satin finish, didn't want to change anything, but wanted to make it a bit shinier because everybody wants shiny. Oh yeah, no question. You guys did a great job picking colors, but I'm telling you, not to be immodest, but I'm loving the success I'm having mixing them. So much fun. Not trying to be immodest, not looking for lauding, nothing like that. I just am tickled pink, no pun intended, um, with how these are mixing. Look at that. That a little green popping out right there. Man. Look at that little green right in there. That was so beautiful. My goodness. Very cool. We are going to do this one last night. This is Morgana. Not sure where she is. I hope she gets to watch this. Yeah, that's what I got to do. Take pictures and stick them up in the... Yep. Luna says, yeah, I need that pen. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know how to get it, Luna. Let's see. Where's that pen at? Here's the pen. Let me lay it right here. Let me flip this over to get more whiteness here. Let's see. Get my camera out. Excuse me, my phone. Yeah. All right, let's pop these into Discord here. I'm in general, so here we go. There you go. Zoom in on those bad boys. That should be pretty cool. Yeah, you're going to go look in general. That's where the... Uh, The general will be the 800 member pen.
It's incredible. <laughs> It's a miracle. <laughs> Shell was here on YouTube earlier. She may still be here. Uh, yep. You can never tell on YouTube. Yep, wait a minute. Let me just double check. I thought I saw, but that was something else. Yep. Uh, Shell, make sure that when you when you go to Cocoon, ask them to send it directly to Tim and Carrie, because I'll ship it there instead of having it go to you and then you having to pay shipping across to Tim and Carrie. So it's a lot easier, it's a lot faster, and it's a lot cheaper if you just have them send it to Tim and Carrie. Heck, heck, man. Even Mia reminded us. I'm I'm sure you're okay with it, Shal. It just makes it easier for you, that's all. Just save you some posts. That's a couple dollars. Jay Kane.
Well, it's a lot faster because it comes straight to us rather than going to you then to us. That's all. The chance is reduced, no doubt about it. Statistically, the chance it's reduced. To give an example, the latest box that arrived had over 40 blanks in it. From Cocoon. I said it had over 32. Or 36. I don't remember the exact box. And I started sweating. Pauline wants to know whose pen is being turned. Morgana. Morgana. And Shell said they've already shipped it out. But I'll remember that for the next time. It works. Oh, it has. Yep. I think it's my secret project. Yeah, I'll bring it in to you, and I'll show you Lenora's pens, too. Until I package them. Oh, wow, those are pretty. Wow. Bonkers, wow. huh? I don't know if you guys saw all sides up close. I took some photos and stuck them in the general. Did you take photos of them? Yeah. It's a very dark place here in the shop. A pen and a pencil. <laughs> what was Tammy saying? Yeah, they did, Tammy. The t they Yep. She'll throw some pictures in general. She's got a better Polaroid than I do. Yeah, really. <laughs> We're all girls here.
Who's talking? Is that Cassie? Hey. Oh, you got your pens? Cool. That's awesome. Glad you like them. Glad you like them. Who's the blank maker? Oh, that's right. That's right. Is it the pine cone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jakob Janison. Cool. I'm glad he's happy too. Who did that? Oh. And they were probably happy we didn't. <laughs> that junior polywog, he has no idea what he's doing. What video is that? Oh, the, of me a year ago? Yeah, that was funny as crap. And it's on YouTube for all to see. But I just thought there was a... I, I could see the look on my face going, what the hell am I doing? A lot. Oh, where General is? Oh, Catherine, she put a link in the General world in the uh, Discord there. And I think she also put it in Leopard Leatherworks Facebook group. So it should be too hard to find. Yeah, you should, be, you should hook you right up. Excellent. Oh, blame me. I invented light. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Oh, my God. Will you just give me a second? It's the damn... Friggin' bullshit pieces. Sorry. I'm trying to show her the picture of the pen pencil set, and I'm getting pop ups all over the place, and it's pissing me uh, off. What's that? I don't know what he's doing. No, i Discord, so it shouldn't be I, anything there. I, no, no, it's because I took. I'm having issues with my browser pulling up pop-ups so when i put it on so i could magnify it i had pop-ups come up oh gotcha yeah according according to what they told me it's already supposed to be in there but it's still they're still coming up so, so i don't know what's happening it. with this pen right here i gotta well, redo it all this it, pink it, and purple again. right here at the cheerios that is nice. 
I can't wait to stop it. It's going to be, this is going to be really, I bet you wild on this end right here. Man, alive. Yep. We'll be in in a bit. Okay. I'll be here all night. Smoke if you got them. Okay, here we go. What's happening with this thing? <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Yes. It's Morgana's. I'm telling you, that is nuts. Yeah. Dang, 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 and gosh, dang. That is wild. The wild thing, I don't know if you can see it, but amongst all this purple here, there's a little tiny jewel of pink and green, or purple and green, right at the top. Like a little eye. That's cool. That's cool. It helps if I turn on the microphone again. Audrey Audrey Childress said, "I'm here finally." Sorry, Tim. Daniel and I were out celebrating our twentieth our twentieth anniversary today. Well, first of all, Audrey, congratulations. Second of all, say hello to my friend Daniel for me. Daniel's this awesome dude that's married to, to Audrey, and uh, he's a cool dude. And Audrey, thanks for joining in. Appreciate you being here. She diamond painting like a mad dog. Uh, since I moved this out, I wonder if I can turn this around to face it the way I'm facing. Let's see. Let's turn this thing around here. Loosen it. Turn around this way. Oh, no, it doesn't do it that way. Okay. That's the leader for that. I have to figure some other thing. That's still aimed on there. Let me see what we got. Nope, not really. Just a hair. There we go. That should be okay there. Let me check that on the camera. Nope, need to go back a little bit. Or go forward a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Bye bye.
There it is, all pretty done. My goodness. Too cool. What do you need? Oh, you oh you got all the other ones? Yeah. And what tray what trays uh, Lee getting? Lenore. Lee. Lenore. What was it the purple one? Yeah, it's one of these down here. The purple one with the bump. Yeah, this one right here. Check it out, Lee. This is the one. Yep, that would be the one. Good. I am going to route the bottom edge of that sucker. Put some feet on it. And we'll call it done. Here's, here's the funny part, though, right? Now that she's seen them, she will be stocking. <laughs> she will be stocking the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh huh. That's right. I know. I'm not worried about it. Oh, I think that's funny, don't you? Except, except when Carrie's on drugs and actually starts crying because I start picking on her. Yeah. You brute. <laughs> you brute. Okay, so there is Lenore's tray, and it sort of matches her pen. It's got the edges all been routed off, so it's nice and smooth. Yeah. And got four little feet on there. Very good. Yo. Again. So can your doctor give me some drugs? Well, worn out, so I'm Here. just gonna talk. Thank you. Oh, it's Here. pretty. I'm getting off now anyway, so oh can I watch? I was just gonna I was gonna make a smart eyes comment and I said, wait a minute, no, that's Tim's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I watch? Because you just said you're getting off now. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> yeah. Who, me? I that wasn't Lee. <laughs> I didn't oh, do she it. She already knows time. where I sleep. She's watching too much murder porn. I've got to be very afraid. I watch one true crime and I'm afraid. Don't watch anymore. Or evil, what, what is that one? Evil sleeps here. I'm like, crap. Evil lives here, whatever it is.
murderers are never that smart. Okay, we got a point six five. This is for Deborah L. Who? Oh, Cajun. That's Deborah. That's Cajun. Yeah, you better tell her she's getting turned, man, right now. I'll slow down. I'll slow down. Oh, I lost a finger. Is that? I'm going to slow We're actually trying to plan that because I do have to spend some time on Purnell. No. Is Purnell a square? Oh. Because based upon my tremendous experience doing diamond painting, I like yeah. squares. <laughs> <laughs> my three baseball card sized paint gems. I do. <laughs> Catherine, you're killing me. Oh, nice. But I, I, it's how she says it. I really like squares, too, and I'm thinking, yeah, because they sort of lock in when you're all done and line themselves up. She goes, no. Because round is stupid. <laughs> Catherine, you're the best. The absolute best. What's that? No, I love it. I love it. I just. I stood back and took notes. Oh, not the crossfire. I was a casual observer. Hell. Evil lives here. Carrie will tell Carrie will tell you I'm not a yeller, not a screamer, that kind of thing, and I don't start fights, but I will finish that mother humper if it gets started in my direction. Guaranteed. I am a lover, not a fighter. But I'll finish the top of the gun. Yeah, I will defend my property, my loved ones, that kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not looking for it. What was that, Catherine? That is me. That is it. That's right. 
Burnell says, come, be with me. Picture time. Should I charge him ten or fifteen dollars to have his picture with me? <laughs> Sometimes I just crack myself up. <laughs> Who? Oh, okay. Well, she will know what it is. Mark, this, hey, uh, Lee, how many minutes are we into the stream here? Uh, into the stream, we are two hours and ten. Uh, well, there you go, Kara, two ten into the stream. We have 80 minutes until Kara. Yeah, baby. Right on by. Man, I've been running hard since 8 o'clock. Yeah, diamond painting agent. Diamond Painting Cajun is in YouTube right now. Nice. Welcome in, Deb. And Deborah this is your Deb pen. Cajun. By the way, Cajun has the absolute best smile. Oh, 100%. doesn't she? He doesn't. And. Think I love her accent. She got that full-blown New Orleans, give me some gumbo kind of accent going on there. I love it. Her laugh is pretty good too. Yep, no question. We are honored that such a celebrity would visit us. Now she now she's rolling her eyeballs out. Yeah, I was one of them. You're welcome. I said, I want to see more. Just like me in a year turning pens, Catherine. Just keep doing it. It only gets better. I don't even know what that means. Oh, from Cocoon. Yes. You know, it's so funny. I got up this morning and I said, you know what? My hand. I don't know what that is. Aching. That's exactly what it was. Uh, don't mind me. I'm kind of multitasking. Hey, I'm not minding you at all. Never do, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm a little froggy today. Can you tell it's Monday? Don't think I've had a day off in about all oh, that's a lie. Took a day off. Flew to New York. Nine. New York, man, one of those places I love and I hate. Exact same moment. What else has to happen to this? I think this is good. Now, Deb, when you notice you'll get this pen, this is your exact prescription right here at a 0.65 or so. This will come down to about a 0 0.63, 0 0.62. The reason is, as you flip back and forth, you, you want to change your muscle uh, position. And that's why we do that, to give you a roundabout kind of feel. 
And that way you don't get locked into one or the other. So with your multi-placing or single placing or whatever, it'll ease your muscles a little bit. And everybody's head is like that. Everybody's head is too close. A thousandth or two off in the other direction. Okay, let's finish this bad boy in. Get the diaper out. This is the saga of our channel. 32 people talking at once, and then nobody talking at all. I love it. Yep. <laughs> so funny. It, it's it's so natural, too. It's just like, it's time to be quiet, you know? Time to enjoy watching. A little ASMR, watching the turn. It's here, baby. It's here. Okay. And by the way, work, going to work tonight means going into my office and hiding for 12 hours. <laughs> my, my commute from the shop to my work is about 40 feet. Yep. Literally. Well, that's like, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kay. I can't sneak. Well, that's like us when we were manager and assistant manager of a storage facility. Uh, we were we were resident managers. Yep. So yeah. the walk from the walk from our living room into the office took ten seconds and yep. open a door. <laughs> hey, you it. know. How how is that gig that resident manager of a storage facility? Is that cool? I'd always mm, thought that'd been neat. Not really. Really? Um, yeah, especially if you're going with public storage. They have a lot you of. You mean like? You mean like like the company public storage? Yes. Oh, and what's what deal with them? They have a lot of requirements. We had, for example, seven hundred and fifty three units. Uh huh. In Lynn, which is not good i mean it's it's not your most affluent people okay uh, and we were expected to keep a 15 percent delinquency rate uh, and that's impossible there and oh oh pff, you're lucky if you can get it down to get it down to 30. so what do you mean is delinquency it means you got to kick these people out clear out their thing and get it rented again well delinquency as in doesn't matter even if it's you know 10 days late but I'm just saying that if they're not paying, you got to boot them out, sell their crap, and then after after 90 days, you have to put an ad in the paper uh, under legal notices and list a few of the items so that you can go to auction. You also have to send two registered two registered mails uh, to yeah, to the people. To, yeah. Not only to them, but to anybody that, you know, like you have a cosigner type of thing. Right. You know, a secondary ad a secondary address. And whatnot. A lot of admin then. Right. Um, there's a lot of it. And if you don't 
hit these numbers, they ding you. Right. Uh, plus the fact that you're expected to do a certain amount in sales, boxes, tape, you know, that kind of thing. Oh. Uh. And you're in competition, more or less. They don't tell you you are, but you're in competition with the other people in your area. You know, the other well, of course public storages in the, the, in the region. Yep. And when you have somebody who has a less than 4% delinquency rate, you know, that's, you can't beat that. You know? Well, no, it's 4%. That's freaking awesome. And then they tell you to try to get, they tell you to try to get at least 50% uh, auto pay. Which for Lynn was a big mistake. It's like working in downtown Detroit. Yeah, they just don't do yeah. it there. That's all. No. Yeah. And we got it's in a not their normal mode of operation. Yeah. Every time we had we had issues and we're getting talked to and yeah. you know penalized for shit. Plus the fact you had to keep the place extremely clean, and they didn't give they gave the manager a forty hour work week, and they gave the assistant manager less than twenty to get seven hundred and fifty three units clean. Well, you're just cleaning the hallways and stuff, right? Because no. units are. No, the you're cleaning locked. Clean, not all of them. No, you have the empties well, that you not. have to keep cleaning. Um, you have the uh, interiors that still have to be cleaned. You have to make sure that um, there's no mouse droppings on the empty units. You have to dust right. every single door, every single wall, and then and then do the floors. You know, when you have seven floors, that's a lot of work to do and try to get done in 20 hours. So other than that, was it a good gig? No. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do that then. No, because it's to be fun. What we had was because you're a resident manager, that means your front door is right there. Yep, I know. It means so you're never, you're always at work. That is correct. And if, even though there's a manager, you know, a relief manager in the office, they'll come knocking on your door because they don't like what the relief manager tells them. Of course. So it was like, if you weren't out of the house by opening and didn't come back until closing, you were constantly having to answer the door. Because they didn't give Almost up. Almost a prisoner well. away from your own home. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's not as good a gig as it should be well i've never had an easy gig in my life so i'm not sure what an easy gig is then you have the skips <laughs> you know people that know that they're late because they know we haven't locked them out yet or couldn't lock them out for legal reasons they grab their stuff and leave in the middle of the night sure even though the gates were locked, they'd break the damn gate in order to get past it. Oh, it doesn't have like one of those auto openers or something? Yeah, they have they have them on, on, you know, one was a chain drive and the other one was a swing gate. But what they did was they just broke it. Oh. Uh, because the, uh, the chain gate was 10 feet wide. So all they had to do was pull on it and, and swing it out. Yeah. Even though it was supposed to be going straight across. Well, that's too bad. I always thought that'd be a fun gig. Maybe just not in Lynn. It could have been if you're in the in the right area, but yeah. you know, they knew that they had you because it's you know your rent was part of your pay, so you didn't pay it. You know, you didn't get paid all that much. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, another one. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is just wild. That is just brilliant. I love how this, whatever disappeared when we cut it away, it reappeared here on the baseball bat end. That's too cool.
What do you think, Cajun? Uh oh. <laughs> Neither one of those blanks. That one's got little air bubbles in it, so I don't like it. The whole batch. No, it's not. Well, there'll be a five. They're all in the same batch. Don't know what happened to that one. But we're going to redo Cajuns right now because that one's got those little tiny air bubbles in it that I see. You got to look close to see them, but I can see them. And if I see them, I don't like them. And hopefully it shouldn't even get to carry for looking at if I catch it here. So that's the whole goal. So I'm not going to. So this one has, it's actually a perfect finish, but it's just got those little tiny pinholes in it that I don't like. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what caused it, but it's just in, I think, one five layer batch. It was either something with the resin or I didn't pressurize it or I'm not sure what it is but it doesn't appear till right at the end and that's okay because like I said I'm going to take those I'm going to refinish them I'm going to clean them get all the little white out of the little pockets cover them with CA and then finish them up again and I'll sell them for half price because I don't want to you know it's not a full-blown perfect pen but somebody who wants the colors and you know That'll be fine. And I may not even sell them. I may, may not want that out there, you know. My name on it. Yeah, I, mean, I like that idea, but I don't want the subpar product because nobody remembers what they paid for it. And they're looking at it going, oh, yeah, I got the one with the air bubble. Yeah, you're right. I rather just not, I may not, I may just destroy them just so they're not out. As much as I want everybody to have one, I'll make more. Well, they don't mind, and they really don't. But what if they try to resell it? And it's Shea by the Sea, and the word doesn't get past that it was a a uh, second called a second air bubble thing. So uh, I just don't want to go there. And that was a pretty technical. That's why I'm a little, a little disappointed that I'm like, oh man, it looks so cool, but. Welcome back to Tammy Glassnap. Welcome back, Tammy. And yes, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. I should I should just start calling her Tammy G. Uh, Tammy G. There you go. Sort of like Kenny G, you know, Tammy G. Oh, it actually is glass snap. There you go. 
go. Holy crap. <laughs> he got it right. Holy leotards, Batman. Holy Lee, Batman. <laughs> Never mind leotards. I'm usually not the greatest when it comes to name pronunciations when they're not like Tom Smith or Jones, you know. Not alias, alias. Right. <laughs> okay. Point six five, almost there. Point seven there. <sighs> they shall be right back again. I get to start writing and I hate writing. <laughs> I do that, I gotta step away a minute. On the money. Let's get some middle happening here. All right, here we go. What I like about a prescribed style for a particular set. I don't have to think about it. We've already thought about it. I just have to do it.
Can't even make any more 800 member parties until we get the restocking of swearing. All I have is the 10 we made so far. And cobwebs are here. Whip up another batch. All righty. Again, this is Cajuns. Lower off. Diaper applied. Hope everybody's whipping. Whipping good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Whip it. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Is it chicken tonight, Lee? Oh, shit. Chicken. chicken. <laughs> I love it. There is nothing that the states can do to bar yeah. someone who's running for a... Uh, okay, sorry about that. I'm back. It's all right. Nothing to be sorry about. We're just dreaming of chicken. Was it cordon blue? Chicken sandwiches? No, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Ooh. Chicken nuggets. You got honey with those? Uh, I got some honey mustard. Yeah. No, just honey. I think so. Play it straight nope. up honey. Nope. Mm. Honey mustard. Good. No, uh -huh. honey. Not honey mustard. Yep. Not honey mustard. Honey. Straight up honey. So good with french fries. And chicken nuggets. Yum, yum. Is anybody even still here? <laughs> oh, good. I'm not looking. I'm not looking over at the Discord. I'm like, boy, it is really quiet, which is nice. Oh, oh, is it really? Cool. Well, it is 5 o'clock your time. Oh, yeah. So the only ones you have here now are Cassie, me, Catherine, Marion, and Pauline. Well, that's a crowd. That's a good crowd. Well, considering the fact that it was like that when we started, we had, you know, 6 or 7, and then all of a sudden it blew up to 10 or 13. Yeah. You know, or more. That's funny. That's funny. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> what are the kiddos up to today? What? Yeah. Cool. What's your homework on today? I used to love homework. Oh my goodness, yes. I was one of those guys that loved school. Oh, that's the fun part. Makes you better. 
It's like turning a lathe. Keep doing it. All of a sudden, you're really good at it. I get. I think so. And I'm telling you. I think so. You know, math, use your whole life. And I'm not talking heavy-duty math. I'm just talking my dear Aunt Sally and some fractions. That's about it. Never stop using math. Yep, never stop using math. That's it. You can do it in your head. You can do it on the paper. You can do it on your fingers. You can do it on a calculator. All kind of ways to do it. It's like when I'm converting Fahrenheit to, or Celsius to Fahrenheit. I don't multiply times 1.8. I multiply times 2, add 32, and then just take one or two off, and I'm close enough. <laughs> Guesstimating the weather or the temperature. Don't have to be exact. That's it. That's it. Ah, I gotta do this again. Damn it. I hate when I do this. Alrighty. Oh, we're getting closer to this one again. Aha. There's some stuff peeking out already. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to wipe her down. Polish her up. Here we go. Oh, it's got that black, gold, pink, or purple, and that gold interlaced in there. Oh, man, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Looks like a thunderstorm right here. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, I love it. Every time I turn it, it looks better and better. Cajun, you're going to love this one, sister. Let's get it over to the buffer. Finish it up. Camera switch. Oh, hey, Marsha. You got happy mail today. Because they, oh, they removed your toenail. Yuck. Oh, that's no fun. Yeah, Marsha, that's yuck. Hey, uh, Marsha, how many shave pens do you have to go? I think about 15. <laughs> I, think, I think it's about 15 I got yet to do.
Oops. I'm sorry if I don't hit that, Marsha. I'm not looking at the chat directly, but we'll get it. We'll change the camera. See what's going on in the tubes of you. Uh, let's see. How many? Well, you already read Marsha's how many pens, right? Yeah. How many pens do you have to go? Uh, other than that, Tammy just said, got done helping grandson with homework. Saying hello to Shay, or Sherry, I mean, not Shay. And Slums. commenting Love on homework. the toenail thing. Yeah, saw that toenail thing. That's no fun. Of course, I think, I'm not sure what toenails are for, but I'd just be happy just to have no toenails, just toes. I mean, other than cutting your toenails, what are they for? Well, with me, it doesn't matter because I can't feel when they fall off anyway. <laughs> so, no, but I'm know. saying, what are toenails for? What do they do besides scratching the back of your leg? I heard her voice. I didn't hear what she said. I couldn't either. She was saying that toes are, toenails are for protection in years. Many, many years ago, they were like claws. I mean, I have some people's toenails. I can believe they would provide some protection. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, Cajun. Super cool. I actually like this part right here. It looks like a dark storm cloud in here. Very cool. And here's the bright skies coming through. No air bubbles in this one. So this one looks great. She may be out cooking dinner, too. Sherry Shivers. Hello from Kansas. Watching from Hello, TV. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Tim, what is CA? It's a super glue of sorts. Yeah. It's a lot I better. Think it stands for cyanoacrylate. And it is a, like Lee says, a fancy um super glue it uh it doesn't cure right away like regular super do glow which is a different technical name but when you put things together it's a sticky enough and then when you hit it with an applicator which is pretty much water with some kind of solvent in it um it immediately cures like rock hard absolutely rock hard but that's what ca glue is and Nan Hall says the pen is pretty, first off. And then she says, thunderstorms headed our way this evening. Would rather have that pen. <laughs> Nan, you need one. <laughs> oh, sh so we got Sherry and Marsha. And who's the other person from Wichita? Um, was that Sherry Shivers or another person? I forget all the names. So well, many. Sherry Shivers is from Kansas, so I'm that could right. Be. Right, and Marsha's from Kansas too. Yeah. And then there's another lady, Sherry. Do you live in Wichita, or is that the other lady that lives in Wichita? Somebody lives in West Kansas. Somebody lives in Wichita, and I'm not sure where Marsha is. And then you got Nan Hall. Oh, Shell's from Kansas. Yep, Shell too. Yep. I remember they were shouting out to each other. Maybe it was Shell to Sherry. That might have been what it was. Sherry is in Wichita. Wichita. There we go. Okay. Sherry Sherry's Shivers. in Wichita. We could call Wichita Sherry. Wichita Sherry. <laughs> Sherry Jones is in Tennessee. Tennessee. I love some Tennessee. Some of my favorite YouTubers are in Tennessee. Out of the woods. Some dude in Tennessee that just cuts up a bunch of wood on his spa mill. Sells it out. Got a nice little farm. Anyway, everybody, I got to get ready. Uh, oh, Colorado. Who don't love Colorado? Right, Tammy? Beautiful state in many different ways. North, oh, Shells, North Central Kansas. Nan Hall, Illinois. Southern or Northern Illinois? Because I am a Saluki. Not many people will know what that is. 
Oh, Sarah Ann's in Colorado as well. <laughs> you guys ought to get together and meet each other. Let's figure out where Nan is. Is she a Saluki or somewhere up north? Marsha grew up in Colorado. Nan Hall Central in Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. Not sure what that, but I'm a Saluki, Nan. Southern Illinois, Carbondale. Way we go. Uh, okay, everybody. I got to sign out. Got to wash up, cook some dinner. Got to get uh, carry some dinner. And, um, you know, that kind of thing. So Colorado, my buddy Raymond Gibby is always in a show, an artist show in Loveland, Colorado. Beautiful area. We've done a few installations up in Boulder, a few way up on the mountains behind Boulder, a couple of super rich homes up there, a couple of cool bronze statues that he makes. Anyway, got to get washed up, got to cook the uh, carry some food. Now we're going to sit down and enjoy uh, Kara, the principal painter. But anyway, right. you guys all be good, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna we'll see you at Karis. Yep, zoom out the. Uh, we are not going to have another live tonight. I'm um, going to have another one tomorrow, though, for sure. And here goes the film.